Ready to play? Ladies and gentlemen, on my right, Nick Fransman, the Netherlands. And on my left, Su Taxi, Malaysia. Nick Fransman to serve. Lovell, play. Very welcome back. It's uh, men's singles time, and of course, it's the second round of the men's singles. We had the first round. Serves yesterday over. evening, a round of 64, and uh, so uh, we have in blue Love. for the Netherlands, Nick Fransman. Nick, who is currently uh, number two in the Netherlands, behind Eric Mais, and Nick is playing Tech C So of Malaysia. Two. So who beat Ireland's Joshua McGee yesterday, 21-14, 21-17, and Nick Fransman, 16th. See, of course, had that win over Christopher Grimley. 27-25 in the second game, a two-game win for Nick. Close match that was, of course, against Chris here on his home turf. But uh, One, both players two. playing for the right to face Anders Antonsen, who is certainly one of the seeded favourites to win this title here in the Emirates Arena. Two, all. There's been a bit of a frantic start so far. Um, both players haven't really settled in yet, but I think that'll come. Just getting used to used to the surroundings and and the drift and everything. Nice play up the middle. Just trying to get a feel and out the side again. There's both sides now. Yeah, and um, he keeps he keeps looking three, at that frame of his two. racket. Uh, he's played three, p or there's five points been played, and every time the, the the rally has ended, he's fiddling around and looking at the frame of the racket. I'm sure he's got another one in his bag. Um, if he's that worried, <laughs> I think he could go and change it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure that's not his one and only. Better. That's Thumbs nice over. And, and again, inspecting the three, frame of the racket. Oh. We've seen Tech a few times around Europe uh, over the course of the last two seasons. Certainly, I saw him in Poland once. I think played in Slovenia. And Nick Fransman, of course, who's a regular on the Badminton Europe circuit. Dutch looking Serves for a top over. men singles player again since the retirement of uh, Eric Pang who served and Dickie Paliama of course who served the Netherlands for so long what? in men's singles. Absolutely I think we've got um, we've got both of the kind of top Dutch men singles on court at the same time here Mark, Mark Calhio is on the um, uh. other court Four, is available three. on the other Bampton Europe uh, <laughs> streaming <laughs> sites on YouTube. Yeah if you get sick of listening to us just feel free Switch <laughs> over. I'd recommend staying here. Five, three. A little bit biased, though. Yeah, you've got Fransman, you've got Cal Yu, and you've got uh, Eric Meiss, and they're all in and around the same level and pushing each Seven other really over. hard, but none of them have really made that big jump Four. forward yeah. to even a, a really good, uh, say, challenge win. Yes. I think, yeah, they're still a bit of a round robin. I think they're all, mm. um, they've all kind of beaten each other um, at different times. Um, yeah, it, it is quite interesting that they're all at, at a good level, but n none of them have really. That was a really nice clip down. Mm. Over. None of them have really made that like break away uh, from the others, um, which could still happen. Of course, you know, in the Netherlands, singles is not the priority. Uh, we know that from their uh, their focus on doubles uh, to heading yeah. towards the Olympic Games. Their track record and. 
doubles and been mixed in recent years has been, you know, a bit better than yeah. their um, their singles records, which hasn't always been the Six, case. They had some four. good uh, singles players coming through um, in the in you know the few years before this generation. Mm-hmm. But so yeah, in the last kind of year or two, it's definitely been focused for them five, uh, on six. mixed and ladies doubles, certainly. Oh yeah, good Set net over. from Nick Fransman. Nice, he's taken a couple of net mm-hmm. shots really Seven, early. Really nice five. and simple. Just getting that shot onto the other side as quick as possible. Patience, certainly Eight, from making that rally. Five. Bided his time, and in the end, forcing the air from his opponent. Yeah, I think that is um, that's a huge part of the game. It's mm-hmm. not about going up and banging those winners on the floor. It's um, about waiting out. As a game of chess, I'm going to do this. What are you going to do? Um, kind of things like that. Kind of teasing your opponents, not necessarily about the you know the glory, you know, jump smash Service over. on the floor. You know. Uh, an error from your opponent is worth just as much as a Six, you know eight. jumping cross court backhand smash. Mm-hmm. <laughs> a point is a point. Yeah. <laughs> I have to remind myself of that uh, quite often. Service well over. Left. I actually thought that was going to be in. Nine, Both players are still six. kind of playing uh, pretty tight margins, actually, just mm. getting away with it. But a few kind of indecisive kind of leaves. Maybe it's in, maybe it's out. A tight game so far. Oh. That's a nice shot. So far. Craig, you caught that one well. Seven, nine. That shot, Chris, could be your play of the day. Could be, <laughs> yes. Remember that one. Um, <laughs> definitely. On the, I think on the Herald online uh, Scottish newspaper, I'm uh, putting together a play of the day each day. Just uh, something of note that I've seen throughout the day, um, giving it a little analyse, whether it's just... Uh, whether it's a trick shot or whether it's just a really well-constructed rally. Mm-hmm. Um, Eleven Those ones seven maybe aren't quite as spectacular, interval. but I like to to show off what a, what a well constructed rally is. Mm-hmm. Um, yesterday I had a really good clip um, from Sam Parsons versus uh, Anand Pavar from India. Um, Pavar was really on top of the whole rally. Um, played a good net shot into Sam's forehand. Sam did his little uh, cross court flick. Pavar jumped up, smacked it down. Sam scraped it back. Pavar came in for the kill. And Sam just got his racket in time and popped it over Power's head, which he was not all too happy about. Um, so yeah, just little little fun things like that. Um, I'll kind of have a look at each day. Court one twenty seconds. Power ended up retiring from that match yeah. with a uh, back injury. Eleven seven. Actually, I watched that right. to get my to get my clip to review the clip. I watched that um, part back again. Okay. He did nothing. Nothing. Yeah, that's what we thought when we were we were talking about it. Just um, he played a, a backhand net shot and then he went to go to the forehand net and um, literally well, he, didn't, he didn't bend. So it must just have been an underlying thing that's been building. Mm-hmm. Service over. Yeah, Nick Fransman was expecting something back at Eight, the net 12. from his opponent. 
And so just catching Nick a little bit of flat footed and then a poor backhand from Fransman. But still it's Nick with a four point advantage, leading 12-8. Yeah, I think Nick will be pretty happy with this start. Um, I don't think he's had to do anything particularly special. Um, it's been a few kind of nervous errors um, from the from the Malaysian, but yeah, I think Nick will be happy with this start. Good height, just to get your opponent all the way onto the back line. Oh, well up. Really nice rally. Yeah, very well constructed rally so far from France, and enjoying the error well. again from from his opponent. Definitely, that was a really good example of just like not going for the winner. He could have absolutely battered that smash cross court, eight. and there was a pretty big space, but he chose to play the kind of eighty percent smash, knowing that it would come back, just to eke it out a bit longer, mm -hmm. and then just absorb <laughs> absorbing the error. That's uh, yeah, a really really good example of weighing it out. A shot that Fransman likes to play, I've seen it played many times, is that around, it's like a, uh, yeah, it's an around the head cross court stick smash. Uh, plays it regularly, really likes to play it. And the referee being called, I think there might be just a little bit of blood on the finger oh. of the Malaysian. Yeah, we can see the umpire pointing to his hand, and here we go again. The referee has to come before somebody can come and... Uh well, thank God the, the referee was there. Yeah. <laughs> well, they have a referee situated on both sides of the court. Uh -huh. uh, referees to our left, servicing the two courts to the left. And the assistant referees uh, servicing the three to the right. What else happened today? Yeah, I saw a really good performance and uh, I highlighted it in my preview that I wrote on Babington Europe's website. The, the combination of uh, Matthew Nottingham and Lawrence Smith mm -hmm. uh, had a really, really good win in their opening round of mixed doubles. Oh, and against uh, the Dutch. Yeah, pair. yeah, who've been playing reasonably well. You know, they're, yeah. no, they're no slouches when it comes to playing mixed doubles in the Netherlands and uh, that was a convincing win and that's a pair that I've been looking f hoping that England would have put together at some point Party. and uh, it seems Aye. to be heading that way. Definitely, I think Lauren is very much uh, taking advantage of kind of newfound confidence, not newfound confidence, mm. she's always been a very confident player Party. but she's got a little bit of a momentum Aye. recently, yeah, won she a good few uh, ladies doubles. Um, two titles in a row and went 15 yeah. matches unbeaten, oh, wow. 14 matches unbeaten, sorry, in That's three events, pretty impressive. three different partners. Oof. Yeah. Nine, yeah. I'll leave that to Vinnie Hus. Yes, but uh, no, it was. Uh, I didn't see much of the match um, earlier. Mm. I caught actually the end of it, um, and yeah, they looked pretty in control. To be fair. Mm. Oh. And it's something we, you know, we always get post Olympics. Is all these changes in partnerships. I know, I feel kind of, uh, uh, it's kind of annoying that I don't get to change my singles partnership because <laughs> it's always just me, but um, yeah, I like seeing the new combinations. Uh, I find it really interesting and how the countries kind of, yeah, experiment. Yeah. Uh, I like it. But you do know that these new combinations for photographers, one of which I am, is a nightmare. <laughs> I bet. Because we have to start renaming f files <laughs> with different names, with it. different the combinations. Old, the old copy-paste. Yeah, yeah, well... Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't, but it's uh, it's one of those things. Really fat. The kind of mm. pace is intensified in this match. Um, on court one here, the um, yeah pace of that rally just um, went a bit doublesy. Eleven. Yeah. Got double Z, but then he took the pace off it for the cross court smash. Three yep. quarter pace for the winner. The court just opened up a little bit. Yeah. Husband didn't manage to get that one quite in behind him. Kind of set him up a little bit. Good power. Mm. Service over. He's explosive like that, Nick. Uh, you know, definitely. He uses that stick smash very effectively, very much. Well, not quite on the same level as Rajiv, mm. but Rajiv, who's you know very effective with that Those quick limbs. stick smash. <laughs> Don't yeah. try and get it over Raj's head. <laughs> I guarantee you, it's going to be on the floor before you know yeah. it. Extend the arms. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I think just when 
I think a lot of uh, male players, I think a lot of female players are starting to do it now as well. Mm. Just when that kind of long net shot goes in, you are kind of teasing your opponent to 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 flick. Because it's very hard to play a tight net shot from that. Mm -hmm. So you kind of play that long net shot and you just get that racket up and be ready to jump into to whatever comes. 16, and Nick did that very 11. well just there. I think Nick is, um, I don't know if he still uh, trains with them, but um, he has in the past been with Dickie, uh, yes. Paliyama. Yeah, well, they all spent some time down in uh, Prague with Peter Kukal at one point, oh, uh, okay. when Dickie was down there full-time for one year with Kukal uh, for the year leading up to the Olympics. Well, mm -hmm. And then uh, Nick went down there also for a period of time. Uh, Dickie is now back in the Netherlands. And as for his role, I, I'm I'm not quite sure what's happening, but uh, yeah. Well, no, I think it's it's good to see. Obviously, Kuka is over. retired now. Yeah, he's still drawing the crowds. I saw a picture of him on Facebook or something yesterday. Did you see that? Um, <laughs> no, I didn't. I there was didn't. He, he, himself and Adam uh, Mendrick, the other yes. Czech player, were playing an exhibition, and there was 600 people <laughs> in a girl. hall of the Czech Republic. Yeah, well, I've watching it. Previous uh, Olympic flag bearer for the Czech Republic, so he's um, he's uh, yeah a bit of a celebrity. Yeah, 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 um, absolutely. Over there, but it's nice to see. Um, oh, that was a bit tight. Service over. Mm. Maybe shouldn't have gone for. So tight down 13, that line. Um, 19. But it's nice to see kind of all the singles players from around the Europe kind of coming together to obviously we're all competitors, but to help each other as well because we just don't have the numbers so and the depth in the countries in the same as Asia that yeah, Asia we've, does. Yeah, we've seen it over the last probably two seasons 13. where. Uh, you have all the major nations certainly coming together for these training camps. You see, it was only two weeks ago I think so uh, the Danes were in Germany playing. Uh, the national team were both national teams were playing each other. Oh, yeah. yeah, and we saw it before the Olympics where we had the, the uh, get together, let's call it, in, in uh, the in Birmingham. Yes, uh, I think it's a great thing. Of course, uh, yeah, it's made the continent stronger. It, you know, Europe has to unite as a continent to take on the Asians, and we're starting to see the benefit of it. Definitely, definitely the. Mm. Podiums are definitely looking a bit uh, less red yeah. with uh, Chinese flags mm. these days, um, and there's a bit more, a bit more um, depth 15, to the, the nations that we're getting on the podiums. So it's game point for Nick Fransman. Oh, and there it is, and that's a poor error. I think that's another string gone. He. Um, God, I got a get out jail card for First game yeah, on by Nick Long Ah, but look, he was on top in that 15. game. He controlled it yeah. literally from start to finish, so uh, pretty much deserved. The Malaysian won the very first two points of the match, and thereafter, uh, Fransman took control, got to the interval, leading 11 7, and uh, straight after won two more points, went into a 14 8 lead. A little bit of a rally from the Malaysian winning three points in a row to get it back to 15-11 but thereafter I think Nick was in pretty much cruise control playing very patiently and very intelligently, intelligently uh, forcing and, dr and drawing the mistakes from his opponent more than anything definitely I think he um, yeah relied not relied heavily but um, yeah definitely the Malaysian kind of lost that set rather than Nick having to do too much to win it Um it was come some nice kind of consistent solid play from Nick there. Court one, 20 seconds. So Nick Fransman back out and ready to go seconds. for the second game. So. Malaysian yeah. player just looking a bit, um, not, as, not as fiery as Nick. No. Nick is ready to go. <laughs> yeah. He looks distracted. Yeah. <laughs> There's this a distraction there. Game. 
definitely. I didn't Love know his racket, like we said in the in the first half of the first set, he just kind of kept looking at his racket heads. Right. Yeah. Um, and then I think there's a little bit of blood. Uh, maybe he cut his finger. But um, yeah, not as focused as I would have thought he would be. One love. And the shake of the head from his coach at the rear coat. Uh, oh, sort of sums up the match so far. We've all been there. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, right I call that the curse to Gilmore. <laughs> the running round it, thinking it's out. Um, love. <laughs> I've done that far too often in this hall. Um, but like I say, it's just so hard to judge. Yeah, yeah. Um, I think my for the next time I am playing here at the the World Championships, hopefully um, next Three. year, um, 2017. Love. I will make a point of my mantra will be just hit it. Like even if I'm yeah, I any doubt at all, just course, hit it. Hit it, yeah. <laughs> For love. Oh, good bit of power. Service over. Nick just didn't get enough height on that, and he kind of just fed it into the Malaysian. Yeah, he just hit it too and said, put it away. Yeah. Pretty easy winner. Oh wow, Nick Fransman is left handed. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just noticing that. <laughs> I've done that during a game before, so don't worry. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, no, it can be. Oh, yeah. I would said in, yeah. Clip the line, yeah. Yeah, it Two, can be four. rather useful to be left-handed. Yeah. Um, and I actually came through a generation with a lot of left-handers. Okay. Unfortunately, I had to come up against them quite often. My generation was Carolina Marin, mm. um, Fabian Dupree, Merthe Paul. Oh yeah, all left-handers. All lefties. Um, I don't know what that means, but um, yeah, I've had to deal with those round the head straight slices yeah. <laughs> more often than I would have liked to. Um, but yeah, over. The, the feathers of the shuttle slot into each other in a way that a right hander comes with the feathers. Mm -hmm. Five, so not so two. much friction there, but a left hander is going um, against the grain, if you will. So um, the angle that they can get and the the steepness. Is that a word? Mm -hmm. Steep We're making yeah, words. steepness. The steepness they can get is uh, uh, incredible. Um, so I would pay a lot of money to be left-handed, but alas, I'm not. It's too late to retrain. So yeah. Nice bit of speed there from Nick. Clipping it down and then following up fast. Six, two. That was a good start in this second game from Fransman. Four points in a row at the very start. 6-2 now, of course. Leading after winning the first 21-15. Yeah, I think it just puts you in a, in a good mind for it. Well, that's, that is fast. Mm. Same is over. again from Nick. Going too flat into that round the head. I think he's going to have to either avoid it or get a lot more height so that it gets up and over. Uh, so Three, six. But yeah, good start goes just goes a long, long way because uh, Sue's going to have to be playing catch up for the rest of the rest of the set at this rate. Oh, I can see what he was trying Four, to do there, six. but um, yeah, that's a tough one to try to, to try to control. Service over. Seven, the error four. of the cross net, cross net, cross net from the Malaysian. <coughs> oh. Service over. Nice smash to the body there. Not taking any chances. If you go for the chest, there's um, not much an opponent can do. Mm. Five, seven. Oh. 
six, seven. I said he would be playing catch up for the rest of the set, but actually, take it back. He's um, <laughs> almost caught up. A nice little run from from the Malaysian. Yeah, four points of the last five have gone the way of the Malaysian. Ooh. That is what Nick tried to do off that last net shot, but it was spinning. Um, <laughs> so that was a bit more Seven. Um, oh. of a simple net that Sue put in. Nick was able to do a little, a little trick shot. Unfortunately, wasn't able to finish off that rally with a <laughs> win, or I would maybe use that as a play of the day. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's wild. See, I think the Malaysian Sue's just uh, caught up a little bit and uh, Eight, is seven. a little flustered in the last couple of points. Just not got that safety net of those three or four points anymore and um, isn't playing as safe or controlled as he had been in the first set. Seven. That's a shame. There was a nice uh, injection of pace on both Nine, sides. Seven. Yeah, and the cross lift was better from Fransman on that yeah. occasion. There was a little bit more height in it in behind yeah. his opponent. And then just being stressed down that backhand. Corny didn't get his ac racket angle right. That one just floated out. Plus the drift wouldn't have helped. Service over. Eight, nine. Oh, that yeah. Is Fantastic. Over. Lovely. Yeah. <laughs> that was a really, really nice net. Oh, all of a sudden, he seems to be Eight. finding his rhythm. Yeah. Just. The change of change of flow in this game mm. has been uh, a bit odd. Nick looked really confident, and at the start of the set, we said that um, Sue looked um, distracted, but I think he's he's regrouped and refocused. Mm. Service over. Nine ten. His error count's definitely gone down in this set as well. I know there's a lot of one there, but um, in general, those kind of unforced, just kind of cheap points have definitely reduced well left Nick then oh <laughs> did he leave it or did he miss it <laughs> <laughs> um, he's, I'm sure he said he left it he was uh, it was a test swing yeah wow that was service fast. over 11 that was very, very fast interval. that was a good net from Nick and then uh, it wasn't good enough apparently you know, I certainly have a sneaking suspicion that we might be taking the three games in this. Yeah, I think it might it might be looking that way. And we've got uh, Nick's compatriot, of course, Fort one Mark Kalyu, who is playing uh, one twenty seconds. top seed, if I'm correct. Mm -hmm. Yeah, top seed from Chinese Taipei, Su, and uh, is winning, seven. and won the first game, right. and is leading in the second, so it could be a big upset in the men's singles draw. Service over. Already he lost number five seed, Raul Must, earlier in the day. So a little bit of a shake-up on the cards in the men's single straw. Yeah. I remember Mark Calu at the European Juniors 2013, yeah, it was the year that Fabian Roth won it, and uh, he played Eleven. Fabian in the oh. final, and he was one game up, and he was something like 17-13 ahead in the second. Uh. And Roth came back and uh, he was the European Junior Champion. Managed to uh, no defeat we'll no from the jaws of victory. Yeah, exactly. Service over. Uh. Of course, Fabian Roth well, won that European Junior Under-19 event at just just turned 17. 
crikey, yeah. yeah. On his day, he's uh, he can be an impressive, mm. impressive player. Be interesting to see on court number four if uh, Mark can get that one across the line against the top seed. Yes, he is uh, up. Thirteen. Yes, he is up. Eleven. Again, close. Well, he's within two points now. This could get interesting. I think we're in for a good celebration if this <laughs> goes Mark's way. Service over. Twelve thirteen. Thirteen. Oh, next is benefiting from uh, a couple more errors from the from the Malaysian here. He hasn't really had to work too hard for the last couple of points, um, and he's drawn back level. Mr. Feelings just <laughs> heading down to see if he can get a, a victory photo from, uh, from Mark Kelly on uh, court four, which is over in match point just now. He'll have beaten the top seed if uh, if he manages to put this point away. Oh my gosh. He went for a net kill and the uh, Taipei player managed to just get a racket to it and get it back. He still has uh, three three more opportunities for a match point. I'm back on court one here with Nick Fransman and uh, the player over. is back level. It'll be interesting to see where the, the match will go from here. Um, the flow has well, there hasn't really been much of a flow. Um, it's been quite um, quite broken up. Each player's got a couple of points in a row. Um, 14 oh And there, the, neither one seems to be particularly in the in the director's chair. That's very fast and a little bit of luck involved there, I reckon. 15, um, 14. But that was a good, better, better controlled rally from, from both of the players there. And Mr. Phelan is coming back <laughs> after snapping <laughs> Mark Carrier's victory. Double jobbing. Ce celebration. Yeah, you probably mentioned that Kirstie Mark Carrier was after winning a uh, Toppling the top seed in the men's singles draw. Super result for the young Dutchman. Yeah, he'll be he'll be very happy with with that. Service over. Fifteen. Fifteen oh. all. Uh, I saw I saw a delivery of rackets coming in for the uh, Malaysian. Ah, so maybe he didn't have the option to change. I don't the think first he did. <laughs> I saw his coach, the female coach that is behind, heading off, going around, obviously finding some other Malaysian player, <laughs> coming to the referee and asking the referee to deliver a handful of rackets. So uh, he didn't. He <laughs> obviously came to the court with one racket. <laughs> <laughs> Can't say I've ever been down to one racket. I've been down to a couple, but uh, mm. always had the option to change. 
some comeback in the women's doubles in the other court. Absolutely, <laughs> the Irish player find, pair find themselves very far down in the first off. half of the first set, but they've managed to scrape a win, 22-20 to uh, Warren Smith and oh. Walker. Yeah, 5-0 down, 12-5 down, and then uh, it was a strong comeback from there. Of course, Smith and Walker, who won in Prague mm-hmm. in at the end of September. Service over. Yeah, I think, as I keep saying, just everyone keeps seems to 17, need half a set to 16. find their form mm-hmm. in this hall, just to feel out the court and see how the shuttle's flying, and then people start to get into it. And it's still very, very neck and neck on this court one here, this men's singles. I was saying there's not really been much of a flow to this uh, this second set. Service over. Both players. A few, a few unforced errors. Seventeen. Oh. Um, and neither one looking particularly in control over the other one. It's kind of we're taking out one rally at a time. And Runa Massing joins the coach's chair behind. Nick Franzman, after frantically rushing over after the win of Mark Caillou. Oh, yeah. That's a good nice placement. Beautiful. Nick's taking quite a few of them. Um, he's playing very good net shots into the Malaysian's backhand, and then the Malaysian guy will play straight net, and Nick keeps taking it late. Um, I'd like to Play. step up and just, you know, nudge them over, over Sue's head, or, um, go straight fast net back or kill if possible. Yeah. That would be a, it would be ideal. See there, it just lets it drop a little bit. There does there is a lot of spin on that shuttle, mm. so maybe he's you know he has to let the spin kind of spin out, and then he can get the control when the clock's you know 17. facing down. But, um, yeah, if he could just catch one of them at the right time, a little bit higher. I'd like to see that. It's been even Stephen uh, since 13 all, but uh, the Malaysian now just eking out a two-point advantage right at the business end of this second game. Serve's over. Funny how that happens. It's just mm. like the same the whole 18, way, and then someone gets 19. a little gap when it happens to get to you know, 18, 19, 20. I guess that's really where it counts. <laughs> yeah. not how you start, it's how you finish. Yeah. My, another one of my mantras, full of mantras today. Um, yeah, I, I very much believe in that. Nice, over. good placement down that line. Not too tight. Or what's the other one? Uh, juniors stop playing at 19, and that's when seniors start. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> also. 20, game point, 18. Game point, and I think we predicted this one just might go to three. Yeah. We're getting good at this. Yeah. You should do that more often. Mm. <laughs> uh, easy. Uh, unfortunate. Game. Just clipping the net cord there. It happens. Normally a net cord's a good thing, but not when the shuttle's on Second the up. Second game one by two, time. 21 Yeah, 21 victory in the second four. game for the Malaysian. You know, the Malaysians certainly looked out of sorts in the opening game. Only lost it to 15, but uh, was, as we said, distracted throughout that whole first set and some of the second. But got the grips with that second game. He's got his racket sorted. Got his yeah. racket sorted, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> was playing on his mind. And he was put at ease when, when the delivery came in. I've seen these two Malaysian coaches. I don't know who they are, but I remember the time. Oh, you, uh, uh, Jean Wee Go in uh, Belgium. Belgium. I yes. think the lady, the female coach, I think she was, was with her on that occasion. Yes. So, and also our future Scottish national head coach, Tat Men Wong, yeah. was coaching Jin Wee Go also. That's correct. Yeah. <laughs> I yeah. remember speaking to him in Belgium, um, and then lo and behold. Um, I saw him over in Scotland for his interview for for the job for the mm. on court section, and um, 
yeah, I was uh, pleasantly surprised to see him. <laughs> it was nice. I didn't realize that um, I had actually spoken to him in Belgium. <laughs> okay. Yeah. <laughs> Big talent, of course, from Malaysia. Yeah, for sure. Mm. He's worked with some very, very good players. Although she didn't do much in the World Juniors. Just Final gone over. She was top seed. Love all. Once you've won it once, Mark. Yeah. Right. <laughs> I mean. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What, is, what else is there to do? No. Um, that kind of happens at junior level, I guess. Yeah, though. yeah. Well, I wonder. I always ask the question: If you won it once, why are you really back? One. To try and win no. a junior title a second time. Yeah. <laughs> I guess. Yeah, not that you've mastered junior, but um, it's definitely once you're at a certain level of junior mm. play, then uh, make the step up. Make the step mm. up as soon as you can. Do a ratchenock and just uh, mm. you know win the senior world champs when you're 18. Yeah. That's the that's the dream. <laughs> so well, over from uh, from Sue there. There was no need to to really go for that one. Could have just played one. it. In. Kept oh. the rally going, and like Franzman was doing in the first, just just wait for the error. Easier, much easier said than done. Granted, but um, yeah, that was uh, a bit frantic from him. Better, more space in the court. Both both of these guys are just like for a couple Two. of hours. One um, in that second set, and at the start of this first set, just playing very flat and fast. And all of a sudden, they've opened up the court. A few good high clears, which doesn't happen very often in men's singles. Yeah, yeah, um, true. Opening up that uh, court, and then Sue's gone for the attack, and you know, missed it. Service over. Better there, safer. Not even close to the line. Two all. What always amazes me when I come to the Scottish Open, and I, I, I was never at in the Calvin Hall before, so I've only ever known this experience, uh, okay. but even in qualification day, the volume of volunteers that are on the lines do, doing, li you know, each court has a full, uh, oh, um, full yeah. consignment of line judges, whereas in other tournaments you'll go, there might be two you get the covering, diagonal. you get the diagonal, yeah, yeah. but... Uh, Three, or the uh, umpire, the, the worst one is when the umpire has to do the line. near line. Yeah, that's, no, that's, that's not, impossible. That's not their job. No, they've got enough to worry about without thinking about the uh, the but line. Even line seeing line. that line that's close to an umpire is a difficult thing. Definitely. For an umpire, they would be m they, they would be able to do the far line easier. They be able, <laughs> yeah, they be able to do the service uh, line. The service line, the yeah. And the, uh, yeah. Service and over. The line. You know, they've got a bit more of a bird's eye view, but three, um, yeah, oh, that, the, 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 the line closest to them, they're Impossible. almost on top of it. Yeah. <laughs> Especially for doubles, it's even closer. Yeah. But as you said yesterday, you know these things just tend to even themselves out in a tournament. Nice you get a shot. you'll get a bad call here, but you'll get it back somewhere else. Yeah, like mm -hmm. there, um, I'm sure Sue thinks that was a yeah. bad call in his three. not in his favour, but um, I think that was a yeah, I thought call. it certainly clipped the line. <laughs> when you uh, when you're a player and you let that shuttle drop, you will see see what you want to see. <laughs> <laughs> I can tell you that. <laughs> and of course, you know it's a tactical thing too. If if you feel that the uh, line judges are, you know, you can manipulate it a little bit or influence, Five, let's say, eight. their decision making. You know, it, it's it's a tough job to be a line judge and Definitely. to make the call and make it quick, I make it with confidence. That's that is yeah. the key. Do not hesitate. Yeah. Do not hesitate. Right or wrong, well, mostly right. I have to say. Yeah. And like I say, I don't uh, envy them making these calls, but um, yeah, don't don't hesitate or you're <laughs> leaving yourself open for some. Mm -hmm some serious stink eye for some, from some players, yeah. you'll definitely get some some rough looks. Yeah, that was in. Sure. Sure. Down the line. Four. Matthew, Nottingham and Harley Tyler just taking the first game in their men's doubles. 
you know, they burst onto the scene as a pair. I think they won in Wales, and uh, and then yeah. I think Harley got injured. Yeah, uh, wrist injury. Yeah, and he was out for you know a good many months. Yeah, it was a really that quite was bad over. one, mm. um, which obviously just doesn't allow you to hold a racket mm-hmm. if it's a if it's a lower Six, limb injury you can four. focus on your upper body and mm. limit your skills if it's a, a shoulder or a back injury you can focus on the legs and that kind of thing but you know if it's your wrist you can't even hold a racket mm. um, it's such a a fine one good from Nick Fransman mm. there there was that early one didn't let that drop Seven, and just ping it back yeah he has his habit of coming in and dropping mm. uh, we've seen it as you said on so many occasions in the previous set Definitely, but that was good. Tight net shot, rack it up on the floor. And again, better earlier one. Whoop. Nice. nice, really nice angle. You can see that that was, that was sure Eight, placement. That was power. That wasn't um, trying to be anything special. That was just down, good angle, steep angle down the way, and just far enough away from from Sue that he couldn't do anything. Oh, fantastic net spin from Fransman. Really nice. Ooh. Good. So that's the one that is just a push into the body, and often that's the hardest one to deal with. You know, if you play it away from someone, they've got the the space to get a you know move their body out of the way get the racket to Nine, it, create four. some angles but if you go at their body they they they're kind of in their own way mm-hmm. four in a row for Fransman nice, nice little run yeah nice little run five point advantage nice really really good really explosive and safe yeah safe well and inside the tram four. line it's gonna be our word of the day safe <laughs> safe Yesterday it was fresh. <laughs> fresh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, fresh. A little pull wet. A little flex there. <laughs> 11 <laughs> for guard there. Interval. Change nice them. See. Fran, Nick looks confident now. I hope he can continue this and c- make the adaptation when they switch ends here. Yeah, that's a crucial thing, isn't it? This this switch of ends in the third end. Yes. Certainly six points in a row. You know, he's got to be happy. The momentum is now uh, the Dutch side of the net for sure. Yeah. I think there's a chance that you can overthink the, the change of sides. Yeah. But also, you can underthink it. <laughs> it's find, <laughs> finding that balance um, for sure. Now, you, you use the word, Kirsty, you use the word safe. Mm-hmm. We saw a lot of it from Nick in the opening game where he played Two. contained he contained the errors he uh, forced the uh, his opponent really to make the errors yes. and he's doing that again now and he's, and he's getting these points yeah you can you can see that the, the Malaysian is not, not comfortable four. anymore mm. um, you know when it's neck and neck right. both, in it, both in with a chance but um, yeah he'll be on the on the back foot now and I hope Nick can uh, oh I'd say that over. Curse. Mm. Isn't that yeah, <laughs> um, but I think Five, obviously it's eleven. Uh, his last ditch attempt to, you know, it's now or never. Yeah, if he's yeah. gonna, he's got to play catch up right now. Can't wait any longer. Nice deception. That was very nice. Yeah. held it, Third held over. it, and then pushed it into the deep corner. Twelve. There's not five. much else you can do when you're stuck in that deep forehand other than mm. ship it back to the net if you can get there <laughs> nice earlier nets from Nick I, I like this oh a little bit of luck oh and misjudgment yeah there's that change of ends. Perhaps 13, the feeling five. that he had on the other side on the, the side that we're sitting on mm-hmm. that would have been out but uh, once you change ends and the drift brings that back in, you have to service make adjustments. Service fault called. Service over. Service fault oh. called. Fault serve. Six thirteen. Quite unusual. I was going to say you don't see, see any in uh, singles. <laughs> no. <laughs> Oh, 
Although what I have noticed this week uh, is a lot of people switching to the forehand s side, especially in the uh, in some men's singles. I saw Antonson doing it earlier, hmm. playing the forehand Seven, underarm serve, and then and it playing it high. Yeah, I think it gives mm. you it gives you the option of the flick. I yeah. personally um, just don't have the confidence, don't have the feel to do forehand low serve. Yeah, I've tried it out in training. It's just not consistent enough for me personally. Mm. Um, but if you if you have the feeling, then I'd say it actually gives you more options. It certainly is a trade-off. You, you have your big loopy uh, high serve, but you play a backhand low serve. Low serve, yeah. So you're telling your opponent. 14. I think why disguise it? Yeah. Okay. Not like juniors anymore. Yeah, you yeah, don't yeah. Have to do the whole big swing little serve. Yeah. Um, but I can I can throw a flick into the the backhand <laughs> serve. Okay. Um, yeah. But yeah, I would say the men are starting to use forehand serves yeah. more, and the ladies are starting to use it less. A lot more ladies are turning to the backhand serves. Yep. Um, Fifteen. The game's just becoming seven. more aggressive, and you can't really afford to just give someone a free attack off of a high serve anymore. Depending on the opponent, of course. Of course, you know, it, w it had been muted over the last year or two that the BWF were considering a change in doubles by removing the uh, rear service nice, line. Nice, nice kill from Nick there. Yeah. Well, really? Yeah, yeah. Now, I've heard nothing of it since, but uh, I heard uh, certain people talking about it that it had been muted. People are so physical now, but I bet they could get back to, th even yeah. with toe on the front line, they could get back they to could that back, line, yeah. but... Yeah. Um, Especially if you're even off or something like that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> God help you if you flick even off. <laughs> I tell you that. I actually played a 3v3 versus even off. <laughs> it was myself, Sozanov, and Robert Blair. Right. Versus Bruce Leverdez, even off, and Imogen Bankier. Right. We all played the Axiata Cup. Oh, yes. Uh, yes end of 2013. Yeah. Or 14, something like that. 2013. 16, mm. 7. Um, 14. Oh, who knows. Um, and, yeah, we played a 3v3 as in a training kind of exercise. Mm. And I had to serve two Ivanov. <laughs> six foot seven or whatever he is, Ivanov. Yeah. Terrifying. <laughs> Absolutely. And then to have his serve coming at you, which pretty much comes down the way. Seven. I didn't enjoy that. And you got those big bulgy eyes, you know, it's a terrifying <laughs> thing, just just standing on the opposite side of the net. I have to interview him sometimes, and I, you know, I, I come off sweating. Yes. <laughs> but exactly. his English has improved. And Hand Sosnob. over fist. Yes. Yeah. Selznov's quite a shy person, actually. Yeah, yeah. And it comes to, but yeah, both their English is uh, is um is great, and they're both really really nice guys, mm. despite how you know imposing they are. Mm. <laughs> like even when you watch them, I know we're talking about Russian men's doubles for some strange reason. Seven. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, <laughs> you know they they're arguing like cats and dogs between themselves on the court sometimes. Ah, and you wonder how they get on. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Definitely. <laughs> No, I think mm. we've drifted off because Nick yeah. uh, made this one quite comfortable. Yeah, it's um, uh, yeah, he's he's again don't want to you know I want to touch wood and everything, but mm. uh, yeah, I think he's he's looking much more in control. I'd say ah, uh, almost from the and he called that one correctly. He knew that cross court was coming, but uh, couldn't manage to get it back. Nineteen seven. This has been a good hour for Dutch men's singles here in the in the Emirates Arena, the Scottish Open Grand Prix. Absolutely. We, Mark Callew beating top seed, going through to the next round, and now Nick Fransman about to uh, knock another Asian out of the tournament. Service over. Good day for Europe. As yeah, well as yeah. Uh, eight. Kieran Merrily is winning also in men's singles. Yes. For Scotland. And he will play Mark Show tomorrow, me. is that correct? Show me that. Fact oh. check me. <laughs> he sure will. Oh, yep. look at that. I do know my stuff after all. Eight, nine, Doesn't happen very often. <laughs> yeah, and you know, that top half of the draw is starting to look... You know, it's there for somebody to grab it by the scruff Turns of the neck. Over. Definitely. Mm. But, uh, yeah, it's Mark definitely opened up after uh, Mark winning that one against the top seeds. Um, so yeah, I'd say it's anyone's game in that top half. The winner of this one, as I said Eight. earlier, uh, goes on to meet second seed Anders Antonsen. 
who beat the world junior champion from two years ago. And it will be Nick Fransman. And it is, of course, Nick Fransman. Comfortable in the end, Kirsty, it has to be said. Uh, a little bit of a... I'm not sure, we wouldn't call it a, a lapse in concentration from Last Nick in the second game. It was more about the Malaysian in the second game. 18, 21, uh, 21, up, um, And then <laughs> Nick definitely retaliated in the third and just knocked the Malaysian's confidence back down to kind of what it looked like in the first. Yeah, so it's Nick Fransman, the Dutchman who goes on to meet the day Nandas Antonsen uh, in tomorrow's third round. Good hour, as we said, for the Netherlands. Uh, the next match on court will be coming up shortly. Will be the women's singles. Oh, a player I love, uh, young uh, junior player Marina Ilinskaya of Ukraine. Certainly a talent for the future. Against uh, Aaron Tati Pantawane. I can never pronounce her name. <laughs> you get practicing. Yeah. Not the first name, The Indian, of course. And uh, interesting one, certainly Ilinskaya. As I said, one of those players who I certainly feel is a huge talent.